Hi guys, um, my name's Hope, and um, I've never done a YouTube video before, so bear with me a little bit. Um, I want to talk to you guys about a couple things. Um, I actually wasn't going to do um, a video. Uh, a dear friend of mine had told me that, um, <coughs> excuse me, I had uh, some Facebook haters, so uh, maybe it wasn't a good idea to put myself out there. Um, but I decided, you know what, I don't care. So, um, anybody that knows me knows that, um, I had some legal trouble a little over maybe like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And, um, it was on the media and, um, it got completely blown out of proportion. Um, a lot of it ended up getting dropped, but once you have something bad about you put out there, it it's out there. Um, you have your supporters and apparently you have your haters. Um, so, sorry, my fan's on, so it keeps blowing my hair in my face. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about a couple things. Um, so, back in 2002, I broke my back and um, herniated my brain, which is called a QRI malformation. And um, I had several surgeries, and I uh, got sent to pain management. And um, at the time, they put me on a medication called methadone. And I guess at the time, it was like the new hot medication that they were giving their um, people because it was time-release medication. So they thought if they gave you that, they didn't have to give you a bunch of the other narcotics. Um, so I took that for a really long time and I started noticing, uh, that my mouth was really dry and, um, no matter how much I brushed my teeth, um, they just started breaking and I had a lot of tooth pain and my gums would swell really, really bad and get sore. And, um, then, uh, two years ago I got diagnosed with cervical cancer and I had to have some pretty intense intense treatment. Um, I had radiation and chemo together at the same time, which normally they don't do. They do one and then do the other. Um, and that just, boom, uh, made my mouth problems spread like wildfire. Um, all the tops of my gums, which were just inflamed and in sore and um, decay, like decay started. It was really, really gross. And it didn't matter how much I brushed my teeth, it just got worse and worse and worse. And it seemed like every time I would eat, one of my teeth would break or crack or get inflamed or hurt or um, my gum would cut and swell. And so, um, you know, going to the dentist, the dentist is like, well, you need to get off this medication and, you know, so on and so forth. And my doctor's like, well, you can't just come off this medication. So I was kind of stuck in between the two on what I was supposed to do to keep my mouth healthy and um, I went to a local dentist in town and he was like oh we need to take all your teeth out and you need this and you need that and it's gonna be six grand and needless to say I left there hysterical and thought there's there's no way I'm ever gonna be able to fix this problem um, it's very very embarrassing um, You'll notice in a lot of my pictures that I don't show my teeth when I smile. Um, I don't wear lip <clears throat> lipstick, anything that draws attention to my mouth. Um, it's kind of like the elephant in the room. Um, it is extremely embarrassing. And it really takes a hit on your self-esteem. Um, because, you know, when you meet people, usually the first thing that you look at is their smile, you know, and I would look at people and I would be like, God, they have the best smile. I wonder what it's like to feel, to feel like that, where you don't have to worry about laughing extremely loud at somebody's joke, um, and worrying about whether or not they're going to see your teeth. Um, so it was something I thought about every day, all the time, um, you know, I would try to talk to my family about it, and um, they understood and they were supportive because they knew what I had been through and why I was having the problems that I was having. Um, 
but it was like okay so I started doing some research and I thought okay dental implants dentures you know having this fix what should I do and who has 20 grand laying around who has six grand laying around who has two grand laying around like dental stuff is extremely ridiculously expensive <clears throat> even with insurance so I decided one day you know what I'm just gonna a higher power is gonna lead me to what I need to do and in the phone book, closed my eyes, and pointed to a page, and it just happened to be Reno Dentures. So I called, told them my problem. They immediately got me in. Um, their staff is amazing. The girls there are are awesome. They make you feel like family. They brought me straight in. Um, Dr. Carl came in. He looked at my mouth. He said, "This is what we need to do." Um, I took him my quote that I got from the recent doctor and he basically said this is ridiculous that they want to charge you this much money for for what you need done um, <clears throat> so literally within 24 to 48 hours he got me in I got my impressions done um, and they booked my surgery in five days so tomorrow I'm going to check into Reno Dentures at 12 o'clock and they are putting me to sleep and they are pulling all of my teeth um, except for six which um, are these six right here. These right here in the front. These are my, I mean obviously they're mine, but these teeth we're keeping these right here because they're healthy uh, as of right now and um, they're pulling the rest. So I'm getting one full upper plate and then I'm getting a partial on the bottom that will lock into these two existing teeth. Um, it was a reasonable price. Um, it's from $3,000 um, and but that pays for everything. It pays for my entire surgery. It pays for my front or my top and my bottom. It pays for six months of all my visits and all my tissue conditioning. Every, I mean, it pays for everything, which is a lot less in the first place. All quoted me, plus I didn't get all my six month checkups included in that price. So, um, <clears throat> These guys are awesome, 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 awesome. So if you li live in the Reno, Nevada area, or if you don't, um, I highly recommend this place. Um, they are just, Dr. Carl made me feel like I was his daughter and he was gonna take the best care of me. Um, Dr. Flynn is the surgeon um, and he's a surgeon from Harvard and he's like the oral surgeon that teaches people how to be the oral surgeon. So he's really, really good. Um, I'm, really I'm really scared I'm really apprehensive um, you know just the idea of not having any teeth up there and being so young because um, I'm only 38 um, scares me uh, but I would rather do that than live with if anybody has any type of dental pain you know exactly exactly what I'm talking about it is the worst 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 pain so um, I'm going to show you guys my teeth. Um, again, this is extremely embarrassing for me, but I feel it can help some people. My teeth are not as bad as some people that I've seen. Um, and hopefully you can see the damage from this low bad lighting in here. Um, but, um, so, okay. So, my bottoms, which are these six that we're going to keep. I don't have a lot of teeth left in my mouth as it is. On the bottom, these are gone. See how bad that one is? It's so bad. Over here, I don't have any. They're all gone. Up here, I have none right here. See, they're all gone. My two front ones are cracked and broken and decayed really bad in the cavity. See that one right there? It's really bad. Over here, see along the gum line? See this one right here is already starting to break. And you can't see it from the camera, but all these teeth have cracks all in them. Like it's just a matter of, it's just a matter of time. I could eat bread or something and it, they're gonna break. It's gonna happen. 
and the pain is just, oh my gosh, I can't even explain it. So, one more time, here's my teeth. Before. These are my pretty ones. The rest are just, uh, me. And I have an overbite, too. But, you know. I've always had a gap, but in here is really bad. So, yeah. So, that's my teeth. So, um, my surgery is about an hour and a half long. So, I'm going to be making a video, um, when I get to the hospital, when I get there. Um, and I'm going to introduce you guys to Dr. Flynn and my dentist. They are just, I cannot rave about them enough. They are amazing people over there. Amazing, amazing people. Um, again, it's called Reno Dentures. And um, <clears throat> if you guys have any questions about anything, please, you know, comment, ask me below. I'm willing to answer any questions. Um, I'm also going to be... Um, making some videos about um, my cancer journey and um, some of the problems that I've developed from treatment that I'm still dealing with today and um, problems that I'm dealing with from my surgeries and things like that. Um, those videos are to come. Um, I just wanted to get through the dental part um, now because I'm having it done tomorrow. So. Um, yeah, any questions, ask me, and um, I will post a video tomorrow. So, uh, thanks guys. Bye.